Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the session trading today, Thursday, the 25th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit the uh, Trade Signaler, Signals and Market Updates from Leading Providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where we stand then in terms of uh, the markets this morning. Certainly, obviously, gapping lower on the back of weakness overnight in, in the America. Uh, again, the, the uh, S&P index certainly hitting a pivot high. Uh, of around the 2850 zone before it reversed sharply. Let's bring up the index here. Okie dokie, right, so the pivot high was seen at 2853. Okay, so currently uh, we reversed sharply. The pivot high at the moment, or resistance seen at the moment, is 2445. So again, all eyes on the potential for a lower high. So from the S&P 500, certainly you're expecting uh, a potential pivot high or resistance seen at 2845. So let's see if they can hold that. That, that level that, again that level will be quite important going forward okay in terms of the market itself s p certainly reversing sharply as you can see in the daily chart as well an increased volume uh, let's bring up the volume here on the sell side so certainly an increase in volume on the sell side so again giving it conviction to a large extent so certainly a doji candle reversal there 60 minute chart as well indicating a potential bear flag looking for a reversal so weakness in u.s markets again certainly that's certainly seeping through asian markets certainly down overnight as well uh bring up the charts for asia bear with me okay so shanghai hang seng uh certainly negative as well certainly under pressure let's just bring up the stats for you with me there we go okie dokie right so asian markets you have the uh, nikkei down one percent hang seng down almost a percentage point in shanghai down 0.3 percent so your asian market is certainly under pressure as well bring up the nikkei uh, again it's certainly been staggering around that level certainly indicating weakness although it was it did have a, uh, a dovish uh, central bank this week so again certainly helping to a large extent and the uh, Shanghai index certainly putting in two dojis now. So again, indicating exhaustion, indicating reversal. So, so keep an eye on that zone as well. Okay, so that's basically a status quo there in terms of uh, the Asian markets. Uh, again, looking at weakness in US, again, on trade protectionism and trade wars. Uh, also concerns over China as well, becoming the uh, superpower in terms of technology and therefore US dominance certainly on the wane. In terms of European markets this morning, uh, economic data, let's quickly run through the... the uh, the data this morning, okay, so you've had uh, German consumer confidence stronger than expected. Uh, IFO data certainly coming in stronger than expected as well. Uh, Italian data more or less coming in uh, more or less in line. Uh, UK CVI data coming in line. And now we're waiting for Mr. ECV or Mr. Draghi. So let's see what Mr. Draghi has to say. Let's see how the market reacts there. So all eyes on Mr. Draghi and the next potential move there. Okay, moving on to the uh, uh, German DAX here. So diagonal trend line, you're looking at support here on the German DAX, but weakness is seen given the fact that you've got the euro above 1.24. So you are looking for risk aversion there. We flushed obviously from 13,600. The market's flushed back down to 13,350. So it's been quite a move, almost a 250 point drop on the German DAX. 10 minute chart on the German DAX, like I said, we've uh, gapped lower. We've actually closed the gaps now. Okay, so again, you're looking at resistance at this region on the German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, Okay, okay. Daily chart indicating potential uh, HNS top. You got left shoulder here, head, and then right shoulders carving out, and then obviously looking to move lower. You got two unfilled gaps below, so watch out there. The weekly chart did break out, but with the euro above 1.24, looking very hard. Double top certainly holding on the weekly, and therefore you're looking at bearish bias on the French CAC. Uh, 60 minute chart, as you can see here, HNS formation is in play. You're looking at a uh, target of a poten potential five. You got five five. Let me just get that corrected. So it should be five four seventy. Okay, so that's what you're looking at five four seventy in the downside. Like I said, you got the unfilled gap below five four seventy one, and then you got the unfilled gap below at five four ten. So again, from my perspective, the French CAC certainly remains weak, even though we have bounced off the lows. Okay, in terms of the, of the um, FTSE one hundred now, FTSE one hundred still remains weak. Okay, concerns over Brexit certainly doing the rounds. Daily chart bearish engulfing candle, and therefore you're looking to potentially retest the breakout around the 7600. That's where it seems to be going. 60 minute chart. 60 minute chart of the um, 
of the FTSE 100 again if you do rally you are looking at resistance at 7685 if that breaks then you're looking at next resistance previous support equals resistance at 7700 then ultimately at 7740 so let's see how the market plays out there 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment really it's in no man's land still remains weak looks like it wants to go even lower so let's see how the market transpires with regards to the next moves there so again that's the status quo for the FTSE and European indices last but not least you got the euro stocks Certainly bouncing on that pivot low around the 3640 zone, looking for a, a potential HS top as well. Again, uh, looking for resistance. Any potential retracement here will be capped around the 3660 zone. Okay, so, so again, looking for further weakness on the euro stocks as well. So looking for a lower high here and then a lower low. 10 minutes chart, you're looking at resistance around the 3660 zone. Let's see how that tran uh, so it transpires. Take the pivot highs and connect them together. You do have a lot of resistance around the 3660. So again, let's see how the market can move lower from there. Okay, so that's the status quo uh, for now in terms of European indices. Again, a lot of it hinges on the uh, ECB policy uh, decision at uh, around 12.45. Let's see how the market uh, plays out there and let's see how it materializes and then I'll be able to react accordingly. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of that bonus and be sure to download the latest trade signal app as well. Goodbye.